all you need to know about fats and oils. We know that fats are providing double the quantity of calories but should form a small part of the diet. Some of them are visible like butter, oil, ghee and some are invisible hiding inside our milk, meat and even our grains. We need not more than 25% of our calories coming from fats and oils. What does that mean? Typically, a person should consume 0.5 litres per month. In other words, a family of four with two grown-up kids should not consume more than two litres a month. Choosing the right fats. Saturated fats are the ones which have saturated in energy and we should eat least amount of it, especially coming from coconut oil and animal fats like ghee, butter, cheese, etc. They are the ones which increase the bad cholesterol, stay away from them. The unsaturated ones could be monounsaturated, coming from olive oil, sesame oil, granite oil. They are much better. They improve insulin sensitivity and even reduce the bad cholesterol, especially when eaten with a low-carb diet. The polyunsaturated fats come from a variety of seeds like um, sunflower, safflower, rice bran, canola, etc. And they have essential vitamins and essential fatty acids. The best way is to eat a mixture of these oils and not just stick to one type of oil. But the most important oil we should not forget is the hydrogenated oils and fats. These are industry process which make the oils solidified, increase their shelf life and reduce the cost. All our processed foods and outside foods and sweet meats and bakery foods are laden with these hydrogenated fats. They stick to the blood vessel, increasing our cardiometabolic risk. They come under the names of hydrogenated fats or trans fats. We need to stay away from them. So choose your fats right and be fat wise.